Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with one of the best physical controllers for Adobe Audition out there. This video is brought to you by the awesome Audio Gear giveaway. Pallet Gear are a part of this. If you fancy winning an expert kit like this one from Pallet, go to mrc.fm slash giveaway. That is mrc.fm slash giveaway and have your very own expert kit from Pallet Gear. Uh, so I can't say enough good things about the expert kit from Pallet Gear. There it is on your screen. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a rather nice slimline box containing three dials, two buttons, two sliders, one core controller, and a USB cable. Obviously, we all know about the uh, the stringy USB cable that connects things to our computers, um, but these two sliders will help you do fades and really cool maneuvers inside Adobe Audition. Uh, we've also got the, uh, the dials. Everyone loves a good dial or two, and these will help you turn things up, dial things down really, really easily. And then my favorite thing about Pallet Gear, it has to be these arcade-style buttons. Yeah, you can hit them, pretend you're playing Pac-Man, or just simply execute a command or hit the play button. And of course, yes, they all go together once you get them in line, like Lego blocks, so you can build your own interface, essentially. And don't forget the core controller. This is what the core controller looks like, a simple block or with an LCD display. Let's get in to how you get started if you're getting this onto your computer. So here we are at palettegear.com slash start.html. And for me, it's uh, displaying the palette for Mac download. So I'm just going to download this installer right now and get it running. So there's the palette installer and we'll just run that. And then I should be able to install everything I need. So here's the Palette App Setup Wizard. Just go through Next here uh, and accept the terms and conditions, of course, after reading them. I've read these before, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so this is the location, fine, and you can see that it works with all of these wonderful components. So not just Audition, but if you're in Premiere Pro, After Effects, InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, even Lightroom, you have the opportunity to use Palette Gear. So it really is a fantastic controller for many Adobe products and more, of course. Course. Okay, the installation is successful. I can run the Palette app. Let's do so. Uh, this will fire up. Of course, I need to register my kit. So let's pop in my details here. That's the first thing you do once you're up and running. Where are my details? Okie dokie. Register. And let's get started. Take me to the Palette app. That's exactly what I want taking you to the palette app. This is very intuitive, easy to use. Right, now I'm going to need to connect things. So let me connect this uh, USB cable to the core controller. That's the core controller. That's where the USB cable goes in. And I'm just going to connect that now. That's ready and going. Now I need to plug this into a USB port on my computer somewhere. So let's make sure that goes in nicely uh, to one of the ports. And when you do that, you should notice that, aha, yes, can you see that palette appears on the screen, meaning that everything has been activated. Now I just need to get things going uh, in the palette app, update the firmware, updating the apps. There they go, flashing across the screen. Done. Now you'll see as I rebuild this in any way I like, it's starting to recognize the keys as soon as I add them in and turn them different colors, which is really, really rather fantastic. Uh, I'm going to add this one on, see, I get all kinds of wonderful different colors. And let's just add a slider on here. And there we go, a colorful palette gear uh, controller that I can now set up. Uh, and here is the palette app in action. So I've got play stop on this arcade style button. Now you can see I can assign different controls to these different buttons. So play stop is the first one, which is fantastic. That's what I want. Uh, then on this one, which is colored red, I can say, well, I can do anything I want. So I could do file, import file. I could do an effect. I could uh, do something with a clip. So I could zoom out full. That's always a good thing. Change the color so I can make it pink if I want or I can make it uh, like green uh, changing the colors on the lights just like that have a look at this orange yellow purple fantastic click done uh, selected track volume seems pretty good and zoom time all right now it's working let's go into Adobe Audition and see just how palette gear works 
Here's some audio. Should I play it? Let's play it. Fantastic. So play starts and stops there. Uh, I can zoom out full. Now, of course, if I'm zoomed in here and then hit this button like this, boom, I'm zoomed out full. Okay, now in the multi-track, I can turn track volume up and down like that. Look at how it goes up and down on automation there inside the multi-track. Really cool stuff. And then finally, I've got this twist button here to zoom in and out like that. Much better than using my mouse, I can use this dial and it will zoom me in and out of the current view inside Adobe Audition. Now this is just scratching the surface of what's possible with the Palette Gear Expert Kit. It really is very cool and you could win yourself this very kit right here that I'm showing on screen, an expert kit from Pallet Gear. Just go to mrc.fm slash giveaway to enter the awesome audio giveaway. That's mrc.fm slash giveaway. And if you use Pallet Gear, let me know how you're using it in the comments down below.